Earlier, former US President George W. Bush led a moment's silence at the Pentagon where 10 years ago today, American Airlines Flight 77 crashed, killing 184 people. Angela Cox is in Washington. Angela, how are the many families there coping? Mark, in just a few hours, survivors and relatives of those who died will gather here for what's being described as a low-key and private ceremony, marking the exact moment Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. Among them will be the family of Yvonne Kennedy, the only Australian who died in the attacks here. Former President George W. Bush laid a wreath at the site of the Pentagon attack. Others left flowers for some of the 184 victims. Simon Kennedy's mum was on a dream holiday and was about to head home when her flight crashed into the Pentagon. She went out on a, on a real high, you know. She went out uh, a happy, happy woman. Still, he misses her every day and regrets lost moments. I wish that we could drop the kids with Nana and say, there you go, and <laughs> let her spoil them. You know, that, that, that's something that we're missing out on. As a stand-up comic, Simon now uses laughs to spread a message of peace. Simon says his mum, a Red Cross volunteer for 25 years, would have condemned the backlash against the Muslim community since 9-11. Ray Spion was the victim of a revenge attack shot in the eye for being Muslim. Remarkably, he tried to stop his attacker being executed. He tried to take my life because of my Islamic faith, and my Islamic faith taught me not to take his life. In Washington, Simon met with American Muslim leader Imam Zaid Shakir to talk about a way forward. It's easy to hate, it's easy to demonize, but we have hard work before us and to build bridges. Simon Kennedy refuses to let terrorism define his life and he's adamant the new terror threat won't overshadow this special anniversary of his mother's death. And I don't think there's any reason to lock yourself in, in, in your house. You know, life goes on. In Washington, Angela Cox, 7 News.